and now let's begin with the edit option and yep let's get started with the edit of this product so guys if we just use the same what we have used in this create blade file which will be more comfortable i think so let's copy this and paste here and let's change from the beginning so instead of add make it to edit product and the back button and the validation comes and now guys here you have to update with the few things like you see in the category edit like here the method is put the route you are going to change so let me copy this complete form action in the products edit and paste here so now change this url to products dot update and here your product variable comes why is this product variable coming because you are going in the controller at edit method and in this edit method you see that you have passed this product variable in a compact function which you are able to access in this edit blade file okay so now guys uh, we have set the form action with the method put and let's begin with the displaying of data in this so use a value attribute dollar product of name done so same way guys fill all the fields so let me just show you for this select option also here one example so in this value let me break it down which sets more clear paste it now you have to copy this id category id is double equal to your product table of category underscore id value is same then make him as selected else null that's it now copy this for the brand also use the same logic let me break it down so here we go and paste and make this as brand what you are pasting here and change the column field brand id and mention as selected cool and now guys let's for the text area you have to directly use not not symbol and dollar product of the field okay so you can copy this again paste for the normal description or a long description and use for the oops original price in the value so if you want you can utilize else you can use directly double curly braces so dollar product of original price so yep let me copy this paste for the selling price then quantity and here we copy and paste the quantity and the image part is little different let me just copy from the category of edit so let's move below and here we copy get back to the product edit and paste it so change the variable which is product product image if no image no image uploaded and now guys coming below for the is trending checkbox so here just add one double curly brace dollar product of the column field name this is actually is trending so i have mistakenly left it what is the variable you can just copy i mean column field let's get back here is trending and here also is trending if equal to true then mention uh, as checked else null so checked and uh, we are missing the same thing in the create blade file let me just go below is trending and here we have missed it so now getting back to the edit blade 
So let's copy this again and paste for the is active. So if is active is true, then checked else null. And now guys, let's move below for the SEO details. So here I'm going to add a value attribute and direct dollar product of meta underscore title. So now um, let me just copy this and here we add calibrate not not symbol paste copy and paste here so it's done so when they copy this and we copy the keyboard I mean sorry keyword yep and here we change this to update let's save it so once you click this update button it goes to the same form action here on this action it redirects to the uh, product controller at update function so on this update function so before going to this update function let me get back to the edit blade file as we see that we have two variables that is categories and brands on this edit blade file so while edit option so let's go on the edit method here in this edit method we have to pass those variables so which we have already passed in the create method right so let us copy this and pass in the edit method also let's pass this both the variables categories and brands cool so now guys you are good to edit with the product so let's refresh once click on edit button and here you see you are on the edit product and all the details are been filled and by default it is selected also and here it is checked not checked perfect so now guys I just want to check with update and let's submit here you see that UID field is required so on the update part let's go on the product controller here on this update let's move so we do not require UUID while updating the product you can just remove them okay or just comment it so you have an idea that it is available UUID okay yep let's re-update okay and now let's click on update perfect product updated and here you see casual men shirt update working fine so I'm going to re-update this remove and update it cool so updated guys and we have done with the edit of the product and update so if you want to show use this show or else you can just remove it off so for now let's remove it I use this let's move to recycle bin and on this index blade file remove the show button that's it and we don't have now the show button cool so now guys let's work on this delete are you sure so let's check the route so here you see products dot delete which we have to check in our routes admin dot php and here it works products dot route and goes to the destroy method let's go to the product controller add destroy method in this it finds and delete the file and then delete the product okay so our product deletion also will be working fine so for right now i'm just going to add a dummy detail something okay so here i fill some random details and some random details checked okay let's save so it is saved and now let's delete and here we go products deleted perfect so you see product deleted cool so guys our uh, product deletion also has been done and now let's work on like adding multiple images to this products so as we see that we have only one image upload this is for the single like setting up first image or thumbnail image something let me just google it uh, men casual shirt image let's come here on the image and I just select this let me open a new tab save casual 
shirt for men hit enter so it is saved let's get back select the image okay let's update it so here you see product updated let me edit and see we have the image or not perfect we here have it let me just display that on this shirt i mean table view so for that you can get back here add an image heading table heading and after the name td tag image tag use if else condition if dollar item of image available then display the image so which we can use in uh, src asset method double quotes paste it and here you use the inline css oops style width colon 50 px height colon 50 px so what in case of else either you can add no image found or else just add a simple text no image and done so here you see the image